to the another session. Uh, our session uh, is going to be mark, marked by uh, the uh, lesson six, uh, which is uh, the very added tax. Uh, in short, that is the VAT, one of the indirect tax uh, that has to be uh, paid to the tax administration. When we talk of very added tax, uh, in summary, we say that it is, uh, it is uh, a tax it is a tax on uh, turnover it is a tax on turnover added at each at each stage at each stage of uh, at each stage of production but taxed uh, but taxed in such a way that in such a way in such a way that uh, the final tax the final uh, tax is uh, the, the final tax is paid uh, is paid by last consumer by the final consumer uh, by final consumer uh, by the final consumer so that is the that is the meaning of a very early tax. Uh, from here we can uh, look at the features of the characteristics of uh, VAT. Characteristics of uh, VAT. One of the characteristics of VAT it is an indirect tax. It is an indirect. Uh, it is an indirect tax uh, because the burden. Because the burden is shifted, uh, can be because the burden can be shifted, uh, can be shifted, can be shifted from one person to another. So the second feature here is uh, it is taxed on the value added. It is taxed on the value. Added another one, we can say that it is a mild stage. It is a mild stage. It is a mild stage tax. Another feature, I can say that it is a consumption. A consumption. Uh, a consumption tax uh, because it has the. It has the effect on the consumption because uh, because it has the effects on consumption it has the effect on the consumption one thing you can say that it is paid it is paid It is paid uh, by uh, last consumer uh, by the last consumer. Uh, from here we can uh, look at. Uh, let us look at the two terminologies here under the VAT because the VAT can be either output VAT or it can be uh, the input VAT. When I when I say output uh, VAT, I mean. Uh, I mean the VAT on sales, on sales uh, the business people do make. When I talk of input VAT, uh, I talk of VAT on purchases when uh, you are purchasing uh, some of the items, the VAT uh, you have uh, to pay. Uh, this gives us the VAT, the VAT uh, payable. Uh, the VAT payable or claimable. Uh, this one uh, it is where uh, it is where the output uh, output you lace the input. It gives you when you take output uh, minus the input VAT, you get the VAT uh, payable. Therefore, if output is greater than the input uh, that is VAT uh, 
that is VAT payable. I mean, that is payable. When, if the output is less than input, that is VAT claimable. You, you have to claim it. Another thing is, another uh, terms we can talk of here is exclusive uh, and inclusive uh, VAT. Because sometimes you find that a person has paid a VAT which was exclusive of, uh, a person is, uh, has paid the price, but that price was ex exclusive from the VAT. So by that time, uh, we call it exclusive VAT. But when you have bought an item that includes, uh, that they have factored in the element of a VAT, so that price, it has the VAT inclusive. The VAT is inclusive there. So therefore, we need to look at these two terms. So the exclusive here, you can say, uh, exclusive here, you can say, VAT, uh, VAT is excluded from the price or amount. VAT is excluded uh, from, from the price or amount. Uh, while inclusive, uh, you can say that VAT is inclusive is inclusive from the price or amount or amount. But one by one, how we do come up with the computations of uh, the either uh, exclusive or inclusive VAT. Uh, for example, the VAT, first of all, the VAT formula equals to amount, uh, amount, the VAT formula under exclusive, under exclusive, the VAT exclusive equals to amount uh, times, uh, times the unit, uh, the unit rate. Uh, for example, and remember the unit rate, it is 18%, that is the VAT, the standard VAT. Uh, therefore, uh, for example, let's say that uh, you sold, sold goods, uh, sold goods of 10,000 uh, Rand francs, uh, Rand francs, exclusive of VAT, exclusive of VAT. So here you take, uh, to find out the VAT exclusive, you take 100 times the 18%, so that gives you uh, 18,000 uh, Rand francs. 18,000 Rand francs. So while inclusive, the VAT uh, inclusive here, the VAT inclusive here, VAT inclusive here equals to amount divided by uh, amount times, take the amount times uh, amount uh, times amount times, uh, or you take the 18 over 18 plus 100. Then you take rate over rate uh, over unit rate plus uh, 100. So this gives you uh, 18 over 118. So that is the formula for the VAT uh, inclusive. Uh, therefore, let's say let's say that uh, sold person X sold goods uh, sold goods. Uh, 10,000 10,000 inclusive inclusive of uh, VAT so that means that the VAT inclusive will be uh, 10,000 uh, 10,000 times 18 over 118 so this gives you uh, 15,000 
254 15,254 Grand francs If a question is silent here, you assume that the VAT is exclusive If a question uh, has not asked, has not said that it is VAT inclusive or VAT exclusive, you assume exclusive That is how it works And services here When you talk of supply of goods and services here these goods and services, not all of them that have uh, to pay uh, the VAT. Some, uh, uh, some, uh, some goods here, they are exempt. Uh, some goods here, they are exempt. Exempt, uh, exempt supply. Others, others, uh, others are just. Uh, Others are zero, uh, zero debt, and others are standard, and others are, are standard supply, standard uh, supply. So let's uh, let us look at how, uh, what kind of these goods that are standard, what kind of these goods that are, that are exempt. So this is uh, what we are majorly looking at. So number one here, the exempt supply, you can say that uh, it is a supply, it is a supply of goods, of goods and services, of goods and services uh, which are exempted from the VAT, which are exempted uh, from the VAT, from the uh, VAT, uh, for example, uh, for example, you can say that the supply, like supply of the supply of clean water, the supply of uh, clean water, supply of uh, clean water, the medical services. Uh, the medical uh, services, you can talk of education materials, uh, materials, the education materials, you can talk of um, the education materials and services, uh, you can talk of agriculture, agriculture, uh, agriculture, inputs. Uh, you can talk of yeah, and processed agricultural products and processed agriculture agricultural products agricultural products you can talk of the uh, telephones You can talk of telephones and airtimes. You can talk of the ICT, the ICT. Uh, you can talk of the transport, the transport, uh, the transport. Yeah. You can talk of a lot of. There's a list of the exempt supply. Uh, in the, the the order of the minister provides, uh, uh, you can go to that list and she read them in your notes. Uh, this is just a summary of uh, the exempt supply uh, under the supply of goods and services. And he or she, a taxpayer, uh, cannot claim VAT on inputs. The taxpayer cannot uh, claim the VAT on inputs. Uh, I mean, uh, the zero rate, uh, the zero rate supply, the zero rate supply, the zero rate supply. Yeah, you can say that zero rate supply uh, it is a, uh, it is a supply of goods and services. It is a supply of goods uh, goods and supply whose it, whose output, uh, whose 
output is taxed whose output is taxed at uh, zero at zero percent at zero percent and here he or she I mean a taxpayer uh, can be able to claim the VAT on inputs uh, for example uh, for example the exports the taxpayers who are dealing in exports uh, you can talk of uh, international transport like the people who are dealing in transportation of transit goods uh, transportation uh, using the trucks transportation international transport or regional international uh, international transport uh, you can talk of uh, goods sold in duty free shops uh, goods uh, sold in the duty uh, free shops in duty free shops like goods that are sold at the airports uh, the airports you can talk of here um, the supply of minerals in the local market the supply of minerals uh, in the uh, local uh, market so you can talk of a lot of things you can talk of a lot of uh, zero rated goods so therefore that takes us to the standard supply the standard supply of goods and services so the standard supply here they are supposed to pay 18 percent a person who deals with the supply of goods and services here must pay the 18 percent you can talk of supply it is a supply of goods and services it is the uh, supply of of goods of goods and services of goods and services uh, which uh, goods and services which are taxed at the standard rate which are taxed uh, at the uh, standard rate uh, standard rate of uh, 18% Solution. The solution of the question I've sent uh, to your emails and it is also uh, in the description of uh, my YouTube uh, channel. The solution, the solution of the VAT. Uh, first of all, uh, you need uh, you need to check we, which goods that are under the exempt supply when you are given a question. Which goods that are the zero rated and which goods that pays eighteen percent. Of the VAT. So therefore, here we have items. Uh, we have the exempt, the exempt. Uh, we have the zero. We have the zero. We have uh, the standard. We have the standard, and we have the VAT paid. VAT. We have the VAT. Uh, so this uh, the following solutions. These figures were given in the table. They were given in the table where they were asking whether uh, where they were asking is where the cooking oil uh, falls under so the cooking oil here it is the the cooking oil here it is standard it is standard of uh, 9 million uh, of 9 million uh, which has to be applied to the VAT and we get uh, we get the final answer of uh, the final answer here of one million. Uh, this is uh, what you get because here the VAT, uh, the VAT was exclusive. So if it was exclusive, that is eighteen uh, percent. Uh, 
Here we have the school books. The school books. Uh, the school books here. Uh, the school books, all educational materials, all scholastic materials, those ones they are exempt, so they don't pay the tax the tax and these school books were supplied to the schools so and it's um, it was worth 1.5 1.5 million um, so that means that there is nothing here so we have uh, the tinned miric the tinned uh, miric the tinned miric here it is processed so that means that uh, it is standard, it has to pay the tax, which was uh, 1.1 1 .1 million, 1 .1 uh, million. Uh, we have, I mean, uh, we have to tax because it is a standard. So 1, uh, 1 times 8, 18 million, that gives you uh, 1, uh, 188. 198,000. Uh, so we have, um, so this team milk was coming from the Denmark. That's why it has uh, to be subject to 18%. We have the energy, the energy, the energy here. Uh, I mean, energy in the context of electricity. So energy. Energy is 1.2. Uh, it's 1.2, so it is exempt from the tax. Uh, we have the soda. Uh, we have the soda. Soda is a soft drink, so the soda it is subject to 18%, uh, 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 which is a standard rate 1.8. So that means that uh, uh, it is six. Eight four uh, six hundred eighty four thousand. Uh, we have uh, the beans. Uh, we have the beans. So we assume that these beans are low. They are still low. So that is one. Uh, that is part of the agricultural uh, products. So its figure is uh, two point two million. Therefore. The agricultural products, all of them, uh, we have seen that they are exempt, so it doesn't have uh, to pay the tax. It shouldn't have to pay the tax. So we have the sugar. Uh, sugar is not exempt. Sugar is standard. So the sugar is uh, 4.6, 4.6, uh, 20, uh, 4.620. So, which is subject to 18% uh, of VAT. So that gives me uh, 831, uh, 600, 31, 600. We have banana. Uh, we have a banana. A banana. Bananas are also agricultural uh, products. So they are exempt. The exempt from the tax is 120,000. Uh, we have, we have, uh, they have donated sugar. Uh, have donated uh, sugar. They have donated to sh their sugar uh, during the burial ceremony. So that sugar is not related with the uh, with the with the burial with the burial uh, ceremony, it's not related. It's not related to the cementary activities where we find that the cementary activities, uh, things related to coffins. So those the cars that transport the fridges, uh, those things are exempt. But the native sugar, the uh, burial ceremony doesn't mean that it should be the exempt. So it is uh, standard here. So it was 100, uh, 100,000, so which is subject to 18%, and that gives you uh, uh, 18,000. Uh, so we have to uh, come up with a total. Look at the, let's look at the input VAT. 
we have the items, we have the exempt, we have the standard and the VAT uh, paid. So here we have the fridges. Uh, we have uh, the fridges here. The fridges are standard. So that means that they are subject to 18%. So that gives you a 720. A seven, uh, a 720,000. 720,000. So we have we have the school books. We have the school books. So school books also they are exempt. Uh, they are exempt. We have the soda. The soda. The soda. They are uh, they are standard. So they have to pay the tax. The soda is 4.1. Uh, so that is subject also to 18%. So that gives you uh, 738,000. Uh, 738, so we have here the bananas. The banana. We have the banana. Uh, the bananas, they are agricultural products. So uh, that means that they are exempt. We have uh, the energy, the energy, and uh, we have the energy, the uh, energy here is 2 million, uh, it is also exempt, it is also exempt. We have uh, the sugar, sugar is standard, which is 3 million, uh, 3 millions. So that gives you 3 million times 18 percent, that gives you 540, uh, five, uh, uh, 540. Uh, we have the Merrick, uh, we have uh, Merrick here, so but it's Merrick from the Denmark, it is the TMD Merrick from the Denmark, so it is subject to tax, which is million so that means that uh, times 18 that is 360 uh, 360,000 so let's look at the total the total here uh, the total here the total here is 2 million uh, 358,000 so therefore let, let us look at the VAT payable uh, VAT uh, payable, you have said that it is the output, uh, output VAT minus input of VAT. So this gives you uh, uh, this gives you the output output figure, which is uh, three point uh, three million and three hundred fifty one thousand six hundred. So we put it here. Uh, three millions uh, three hundred fifty one and six hundred uh, minus minus two million three hundred and fifty eight three hundred and fifty eight so this this gives you the this gives you uh, nine hundred and ninety three six hundred as VAT uh, payable. Let us look at the laws at the supply of goods and services. So, where number one here should be the sale, uh, should be the sale, the exchange, the exchange, or transfer, or transfer. Of right to dispose of, of the transfer of right uh, to dispose to dispose uh, to dispose of a good. The second one we can say that the use of goods under the raising agreements, uh, raising of goods under uh, the raising under the raising. Uh, under the raising agreements, 
under the raising agreement. So from rules relating to the supply of goods and services, let's look at the evaluation of supply. The evaluation of a supply. Here the evaluation of supply is the value of goods is the value is the value uh, is the value of goods and services I mean the value of goods and services here of goods and services uh, the value of goods and services here is either the consideration is either uh, is either the consideration is either the consideration the consideration received there is either uh, the consideration received in the exchange of goods in exchange of uh, goods uh, in exchange of goods and service uh, of goods or the market value or the market value or the market uh, or the market value uh, another thing we can say here is the position of foreign service the acquisition of uh, foreign uh, the acquisition of uh, foreign uh, service here the acquisition of foreign service here uh, you can say uh, you can say whether similar service whether similar uh, service uh, whether similar service is available is available uh, is available in Rwanda is a variable in Rwanda so the VAT reverse charge there is a VAT reverse charge it brings the issue of VAT uh, reverse uh, VAT uh, reverse charge where the taxpayer will not claim uh, where uh, the taxpayer Uh, will not claim uh, will not claim uh, the input VAT the input VAT or taxpayer has sold uh, has uh, sold the service or taxpayer has 